Hi, and I'm here on the Scan and Cut DX. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm looking to make a wreath for Easter items. So I'm going to be using this wreath here and telling it OK. And just the wreath, and you're going to see what we're going to do. OK, so I'm going to be using my DX mat. And I'm going to be trying to do craft board. Look at how thick that is. And I want it to cut on craft board. Now they always tell you don't put your fingers in all this and I know but I noticed little pieces so I'm going to want to if I can pull those off because they're kind of dancing around and I know they say don't do it you got to think if you're going to do something like that but the other option is you could probably use some kind of an implement to try and pull those off so you never want to get your fingers stuck in there and I'm not telling you to I'm just telling you if it's possible to pull those off, you want to do that. Okay, and it came out really good. I'm really pleased. Let's take a look at it. Okay, and so you have your inner and your outer kind of stencil. I'm going to be lifting this and separating these apart. Okay, and this is what I'm left with when I'm done with all of that. I'm left with these three pieces. This guy doesn't look as good, but I'd like to use him if I can. This guy's a really good one, right? We can do a lot with that. And this guy we can do something with as well. When you're paying this much, you know, for craft paper, you want to use everything. So since I make signs and stencils, I want to think this through and strategize. Okay, and now I'm out in the workshop and I'm getting ready for all our Easter sales. And I'm going to think about maybe these pieces of wood that I have here and what we can do with them. Okay, and here's how it turned out. I'm really pleased the one that has the wreath. I really like. I went ahead and used the napkin technique where you decoupage and then you seal it. And I like the way that one turned out. I like the way this one turned out. I'm really surprised. Remember that was that other piece that we thought, what are we going to do with that? And then the worst piece, what I thought was the worst piece, was this one. And it actually wasn't bad when you put the full bunny in it. So we'll be selling those tomorrow at the Artisan Market. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I give out a free mat or a Cricut knife blade every month. Thank you so much.